Although this show is for a mature audience, this episode in particular may contain topics or subjects that are offensive to others. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, what do you want to identify first? The book. The book, <laughs> I guess. Okay, with the book, uh, this is actually the one thing you don't need to identify. As you open the book, it's not, it's, they're, they're, it's not technically magical. No. It does have high value because of the spells in it. Um, the book is just written in a very, very difficult oh, cipher. How many, if it's worth something, how many kobolds is it worth? <laughs> <laughs> how many kobolds is it worth is yeah. a great question. Or you know what they say, if it's a meat locker, the meat doesn't decay. And since I'm fat, you know? Wow. Okay. Tell that to your balls. That explains it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I've been trying to be Dude, real good about blow, swearing. Low blow. <laughs> but that was straight to the balls. <laughs> low blow. Hello, listener. You may have noticed that this episode was not called episode 31 or 32. I try to run this podcast like a TV show which have seasons, so I thought it appropriate to do the same with my podcasts. If you haven't listened to the season 1 review, be sure to check that out. Without further ado, welcome to season 2. Draw up to one card in the hero point deck. Any pick a card, any card. All right. We'll read them out here in just a few. Uh, you can go ahead and stack the rest of the cards or pass them back to me, whatever you want to do. Oh, and also, in terms of your hero points, if a named NPC rolls a natural 20, you can negate their crit by spending a hero point. In terms of if they confirm a crit, go ahead and use it. Yeah, a but card. we have to rule Shelly can't use those. She's always getting critical. Well, she, that's why Shelly has the collapse. Yeah, the collapse. He got critted, what was it, like two or three times left? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I didn't die. Are you insinuating? I'm not dead. <laughs> but I am. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and get our bounder done here. So, everyone go ahead and roll me a d20. And state your number out loud in the microphone. Mm. Mm. Ooh. 18. Mm. 10. 10. Okay. So, what are these? Those are hero point cards. You can, if you'd want to use the ability they give you on there, you can use those instead. Like I said, it might be better for someone else. Like I said, it depends. Dude, we can trade them? Yeah, you can, yeah it's, it, they're, they're communal as well. Oh. Yeah. What would you guys do? Five resistance. Five resistance is not bad. Five. Five. So anything is really good. Mm, I've got like uh, ignore uh, the multiple attack penalty. Oh. But if you will, a crit, it's just like, uh, uh, That's not bad though. Oh. Not bad. I got The creature is quickened on its turn and can use an extra action. Only to take a single action with a move trait. So that's free haste for a round. It's not bad. And then this one is run and shoot. Play when you take a stride action. You make a ranged strike at any point during this movement. So I figured for him that'd be good. For him or for your Rasa. What about your gun? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Give Cowboy a gun. Is you a gun? No. no. And what was your, t- what was your, uh, your raw roll there, sir? 13. 13. All right. Hold the numbers. Here comes the house roll. Uh, so you need 6, 10, 14. So you need to roll under a 14 if you rolled above it or above it if you rolled below it. If you rolled a 14, you lose already. I don't think anyone did that. Uh, good luck. Go ahead and roll your d20 again. If you rolled above a 14, you need to roll below it. If you rolled below it, you need to roll above it. Seven. Seven. Congratulations. We add a hero point to the tally. Woo. This is how you guys will start with extra hero points at the beginning. 14, no go. We lose all hero points. I wrote a 14. <laughs> right, no go. Can I do double or nothing? I got, no I got go. Five. Double or nothing. 
<laughs> You're gonna double. You gonna double down. the extra hero point that I'm supposed to have? No, uh, no sir. It's now. communal now. It's communal now, sir. I got robbed. You, you got robbed, sir, and Me so too. did Myrtle. They took away your balls and your hero point. <laughs> That's right. I'm an asshole. Okay. <laughs> So, folks, do we, need, do we need a reminder of what is going on here? You're trying to kill us? That is true. I'm always trying to kill you, according yeah, to you. opened up the book two door. He admitted it. What's her name? Showed Flip up it. and left. Bell. Yeah, oh. and they, uh, there's like three dudes here now that are probably related to Utari. It, it, these are his allies, right? It's these like, were the word. other members of the Rose God. They're his besties. They were. All right, so we're going to start right into initiative. As you see, as a, again, Otari called them out by name uh, in the front, uh, according to you. So to the south of you, uh, the first one you can see is uh, Vol Rajani. To behind him, to the west, is uh, Zar- Zarma Devin, the wizard. What'd you call me? Zarma Divin, of course. It's Pathfinder names That's here. That's a fucking Pokemon. Path, Pathfinder names here. <laughs> uh, and I actually like the last one. The, right, the last one to the east of this wizard type is a uh, now dead dead cleric. Uh, Acephana Menhemes. Mene. Not Menhemes. Menhemes. It's named after Menhemes. So, um... Let's get some initiative rolls. What we got, folks? Uh, stitches, what you got for me? What do I base it off of again? Perception. Oh, uh, this is all perception. Well, you can if use. You were speaking, you, were, you, were you, can still, use you can use stealth if you want. Okay. It's all the perception for you. I got a ten for you. Unnatural twenty. So dirty twenty. Ten for she- ten. I was caught off guard. Ooh. Remember when that actually used to be a thing in PF one? Fourteen. Fourteen. Ooh, guys. You know, get uh, John on the phone. I do want to try Pathfinder one sometime. I can run Pathfinder 1 for you. You trust me. You, you think Ugh. you'll like it. Ugh. I want to give it a shot. Ugh. You think you'll like it. All right. um, no, 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 no. It's no, very no, no, easy no, no, to no, break no. that game. You're just reaffirming how terrible you are. No, I just want to try Like, because I want to try it. I've never tried <laughs> yeah, it. no, I understand. Because the thought of how miserable it's going to make everybody, you totally want it. You no. would bask in that I misery. Just, I like to be a, I'll be kinetic. I'll be imbue, knock down, and do the trembling earth. And just you've only in the room, and that's it. And I leave. leave. And then run. Yeah. You've only played the game. I want to try it. I want to know what it's Come on, what you got for me? Uh, 24 total. 24. Much better. All right, I'm going to roll one for the group. Let's see. Plus that is, 11. That's really, a 15 for the enemy. He's really trying to kill. Mm, nothing. What? I'm doing a group roll. A group roll is merciful. It actually allows you to plan completely around me versus being interrupted. And just all bullshit. All right, so up first, Kamui King. Only 25 feet away from you stands Vol Rajani, equipped with a beautiful blade in his uh, longsword in his hand. Um. I'm gonna say for namesake, I'm gonna activate the crash against me. Crash against me? With, okay. Uh, the, or, I'm gonna transcend. Transcend? Yep, yeah, I got you. Crash against me as your body begins to. Glimmer also very slightly because I think that's how you said it last. Yeah, time. like I infuse my body with a, with a light that looks like it's part of my blood. Cool. All right, so that's one action, sir. Uh, then I'm gonna move up and strike him. Now, does that transcend to a different location? Uh, is it- oh yes. Yeah, so um, at the end of my turn, it'll transcend to, or it'll relocate to my sword. Okay, so you. Oh, no, it does it immediately. Oh, is it immediate? It does it immediately. Oh, okay. So okay. when you transcend, that includes the okay. movement of the Divine Spark. So it goes into your sword, which may be very useful. So. And uh, then I'll go ahead and strike it. So it's uh, transcend, move, and then strike. Okay, let's see. Strike with the weapon imbued with Divine Spark. Let's see. 22. 22 is a hit. Okay. Roll for damage. So it should be... 2d10 and then some spirit damage on top of that, right? 
You should have extra. You uh, should have spirit damage. The two, two, da- two spirit damage. Is it one spirit damage per damage dice, or what do you know? If you don't know, I, I got it here. No, I, I, I don't have that. That's fine. I got it. I got it. I got it. One moment. Sorry, folks. There's a I lot think to it was remember. Per strike. So I don't. I don't think it's per dice. I thought it was per weapon damage dice. And this is Gleam Blade, correct? Your icon deals two additional spirit damage per weapon dice. Oh, okay. Damage dice. So that's four spirit damage. Because you have a two damage die weapon. Alrighty. Do you want the do you want the exemplar yes, notes? You have that up. Yep. There you go, sir. Uh so that's four extra spirit damage. So basically it's two D ten plus your four so basically it's add eight. Two D ten add eight. 11 plus 6, 17, add the 4, it'd be 21 damage. 21 damage! Now, is this and considered unholy? This creature does not have the unholy trait. Okay, great. It is undead, but it does not have the unholy trait. Good question. The map effect in this room looks like those uh, shoes you used to have as a kid where you would push the goo and it would just like... Oh, the light-up oh, shoes? that squishy stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, actually it does. Yeah. I used to love having those. All right, so skin hard as iron. I think it's called body hard as iron or something like that. Uh, yeah. And then uh, str- uh, stride and strike. All right, stitches. Yeah, so we're sorry. We're going to be a little slow on the exemplar turns, guys. We're still learning this very uh, uh, in-depth plot. Stitches, what you got for me? Show them a real class. Move and attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move. As I'm moving, I'm going to attack him. Uh, double slice, and then I'm going to hide behind him. You're attacking the wizard in the back? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Here we are. Moving, are you moving your full 25? Is that 25 feet? 25 is here. You have to move oh, no, I'm, by, I'm going to hide behind Kamui. Hide behind Kamui. Okay. Yeah. You're so weird. As I'm moving. As you're I'm moving. Doing. Okay, uh, let me get your stealth bonus. It's okay. Ooh. Wait, is that a eight? Is that a two? That's two. Um, no. What, what's, the, what's What's your so your what's your bonus? Is it plus 11. five? Eleven. Okay. So I got thirteen. Okay. No. All right. No, because I uh, that's a check. I roll. That's a secret check. Uh, so you move behind him, and it seems like the wizard does not notice or is not able to fully detect you. So you are hidden for this attack, meaning that uh, both. Uh, the wizard and the cleric in the back are off guard to you right now. Which means you get sneak attack. Oh, so you're going to double well, doesn't slice? He, doesn't he get sneak attack if he's just like above their initiative? That's true. Sorry, it's, it's, it's so rare. We actually haven't had that happen yet. So never mind. Yep, they are off guard to you anyway. Yeah, sneak attacker. Thank you. I told you. Should I attack one each or should I attack one Focus more? Focus fire on Focus the fire. wizard. <laughs> All right. Then I will double slice the wizard. All right, so as they go out. Oh, that's definitely going to hit. That's a 19 plus 13 for the first attack. So 31. And then that's a 10 plus 13. Do do I don't don't get no negatives on that. No negatives because I've misread that shit before because you have agile weapons, so you take no penalty. 23 for the second one. Both hit. The first one is a critical hit. Then I will also have the poison, uh, the ve- the dagger of venom going yeah. out first. Okay. All right. Two. So that's four, five, six, seven, thirteen, nineteen. That's just from the dagger. That was a two d four and two d six plus three, and then the dagger of venom is another two d four, so that's four. Five, six, plus an 11 damage from the Dagger of Venom. Okay, so... I really hope somebody was paying attention, because I wasn't. <laughs> you gotta, gotta keep the numbers. Yeah, keep gotta the gotta numbers, keep, brother. Keep the I got numbers. you this time, but you need to keep okay. that shit yourself, <laughs> brother. All right, so the first one, the first bout of damage was 22 total, because 11 doubles 22, and then plus the 16 for a total of 38 points of damage. 
as that nearly takes down that wizard. Was it a crit hit? The first one was a crit. That's 11 that was, was doubled the to 22. The other one was the crit hit. The dagger. All that was one hit. Oh, okay. The, then you did the check for the venom? I did the check for the venom. You need to roll oh. a D8 because that's why he that's why he has the enfeebled condition on I him. I, I didn't I didn't call it out. He failed. He rolled a uh, an 18 and he needed oh, okay. a 20 21 to succeed. Five, five points of poison damage. Hey, it is probably looks like that wizard may be on his last leg here. Yep. Billy Shelley's gonna uh, be like the mom in did, the back uh, of a, of a, of a that baseball game. Hit? Like wow, that's yes. my boy. Okay, I think I may have done this wrong. So, okay, so just for the future, I guess I'm going to give you the 38. What you need to do for the future is it's you have 2d4 because it's your dagger. And then your d6 is 2d6. So you need to roll 2d4, 2d6. Add your strength modifier. Double all of that. And then a normal. Okay, no, no. That was right then. Okay, okay, cool. All right, then. Yeah, you're good. Okay. You're good. All right. Vol is going to go ahead and spend his first action and attempt to get into a stance. Um, for I don't believe. Probably not. No, it's not. For my transcendence, do I have... Yeah, am I supposed to specify or are we ruling it does all of them? No, you're supposed to specify oh, which one's going so to. So in this one, in this case, it was going to be slashing. I just wasn't sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you call you call that at the time. Okay. Yeah, at, okay. The, at the time. I forgot you're... to call it out. So. No, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. We're still learning. Uh, he fails going into his stance. Uh, he in, he will instead, uh, so he will use his last action to power attack at Kamui. Ooh. That's going to be a 21 to hit Kamui? That is dead on. That's dead exactly. on? Because yeah. you have me at 21 on here. I'm showing you at 22 on Foundry. Are you wearing leather? I, I'm not sure what you wrote this out of. Let me see your sheet. Let me see your sheet. On there, you have it at 21. Uh, to the right of item, uh, you, you sh because you're level five, you should have a plus one item potency. That's what everybody has because of automatic bonus progression. You have an AC of 22. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that misses. Kamui Q. Very good, because that blow would have hurt. But it didn't. But it didn't. Uh, so the wizard is very upset. He will go ahead and use his first oh. action. Because he missed and I have... Heart the, of Iron. Yeah, Heart of Iron. Is that a slashing attack? That's a slashing attack. It's okay. a sword, yes. So it actually procs an effect because of that. Correct. Yeah, it'll be before the feats, yeah. Uh, if a creature fails a melee attack against me using a weapon dealing the same damage type as my resistance, uh, a painful reverberation making the attacking enemy off guard okay. and applying a minus two circumstance penalty to attacks with that weapon until the beginning of their next Sweet. So that's until his next turn. Yeah. But hey, he's off guard for everybody. And very good. All right. Uh, the wizard would use an action as you see uh, his hands start to like he, he, you know, he has a book in his hand and he starts to cast a spell as you see a small mote of fire fly across the room and explode. Classic old fireball in coming out. In this economy? In this economy. As 20 foot burst is going to be right there. Uh, I'll, let me recolor it so it's easier. Man, I didn't even do shit. I don't either. Boom! There it goes. I'm going oh. home. Fuck this. I'm going home. As I need reflex saves from everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Including Otari in the back here. What an asshole, right? Uh, 27. 27 as Otari takes the zero damage. 27 is a pass you take half damage, as I need to roll that damage. Alright, 29 fire, which is actually going to hurt. It was a little more because pop it so much fire. I uh, got resistance. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. You have resistance to one. That's right. Uh, 29 for me. 29 pass. 17. 
fail. A natural 20. Natural 20, zero yeah. damage. Uh, so do you like bubble up or something with this? Yeah, you know, so as you just put like a water. wall of water right, in, right before wa- it hits. He, at the end of the day, Myrtle Beach is a white woman. She's not going to boil over. <laughs> well, mate, okay, you know what? Anyway. She's uh, now distilled. <laughs> but the fighting wave, I take uh, 10 less fire damage. Oh, hey, look nice. at that. I'll heal you back you in. Look at you go. As 29, how about this? Stitches and Kamui take 14 points of damage. Kamui or Myrtle would have taken 29, but she only takes 19 instead. And Jolly takes zero, and Otari takes zero as he critically succeeds. All right, that is uh, the wizard's turn. And now for the cleric in the back. As you see the cleric focus and study Kamui, as you feel something unholy looking at you. Kamui Ku. As you see void energy beginning to surround this archer's bow and arrow. Here comes it. No, me, me. Take me, take me. Okay, that is a 29. A hit, not a crit. Hit, no crit. Okay. I need a fortitude save from you two, as well as you're being affected by the harm spell as well. Oh, that's two, one, two, uh, 24 for the save. Fortitude. That is a save, you take half damage. As you, at the end of the day, take 17 points of damage. Uh, eight from the, eight from harm, or sorry, four from harm, uh, and the rest of it from the bow damage. Now question, because you you said unholy, was that one unholy? That's unholy. So I, I know for a fact he's unholy. No, the cleric, yeah, the the the, uh, the female cleric at the back is unholy. Yes. Okay. Has so the you unholy. doubled that damage for me because of sanctified. Uh, yeah, I, I added the I added the five. It's still equal to the level of the creature, which is the because originally you're taking twelve damage. Adds five damage for a total of seven. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. I just wanted to make sure. No, you're good. You're good. Boom! As commonly get hit. Seventeen, and that is. Uh, all her actions, it takes all three actions, is called Divine Smite, and she ties the harm spell to her bow attack. All right, Myrtle Bitch, what you got for me? <sighs> Fireball's humble. <laughs> Winner's Clutch centered on the stupid little wizard. All right, and that's 10 It's feet? a 10-foot burst, yep. Ten so it should clip all three of them. Like so? Mm-hmm. In the back? Okay. Uh, basic Reflex, DC 21. And cold damage. All right, reflex saves coming out. And then 22 for the fighter. He makes it. Uh, 14 for the wizard. And 26 for the cleric. Okay, uh, does the wizard live? Uh, and how much was the damage, I'm sorry? Uh, 10. 10 points of damage. No, that takes out the wizard exactly. That's it. Boom! Thanks. Wizard's so, out. So enthusiastic. Thanks. He just gets buried under He's dead. <laughs> he scared him so bad he froze in place. And yeah, that's difficult terrain now. Have fun. Yay. <laughs> I love my friend Myrtle Beach. She makes the terrain so much fun to walk around. God. And then last action, Ocean's Bomb on myself. Oh, oh great. I got sinned. <laughs> nice. As Myrtle almost caps herself back out. Wow. All right, Shelly Skelly. Oh okay, I'm going to move up uh, as much as I can. 25 uh, right 25. there next to Kamui. Mm. Next to Volrajan. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Because he's off guard anyway, so you don't need to flank right now. But I still want to. I still want the extra damage. Oh, uh, Esoteric Lore Exploit Vulnerability? Yeah. Okay. For a uh, 20. A 20? Uh, not going to do it. Okay, that's fine. That's not quite. It's not a crit miss, though, right? No. Either way. No. I open the bottle and take all the darkness out, and uh, uh, I'm going to attack him. Okay. Basically, strength. Uh, 24. 
Point four is a hit. I have twenty damage. Twenty damage. Holy crap! Two D eight. How do you get twenty? How do you get twenty damage out of that? Uh, two D six plus four, plus four, plus four again because of the because I have the. Uh, Uh, a personal antithesis yeah. or what? Yeah. Well, don't don't you need to? Oh, do you get per you get personal antithesis get, yeah. on a fail, right? Yeah. I'm trying to understand where the second four is coming from. The first four is strength. Plus four, four strength plus four from just the. It's just something you get for being. A, oh, is it weapon specialization? No, it's not. It's called something weird, uh, for. Trauma. Yeah, like implement empowerment or something. Oh, because yeah, your sword is now an implement. That's right. Never mind. Yep. Nope. You're good. You're good. It's good. Yeah, because you have the uh, yeah. You get two additional damage per weapon. Per weapon damage. damage. Yeah. Yep. You're right. You're right. You're right. Nope. You're good. Yep. Because I forgot your sword is an implement now. Uh-huh. All right. Your sword does have its own turn if you want to give it to it. It's up to you. All right. Like I said, to attack is two actions, and to cast one of those spells, you can. Up to you. Does he have three actions or two? Actions? Three. Good three actions. Okay. Uh, 24 to hit, I think. Then. 24 to hit is a hit. You know, it's just gonna be a standard 2d8. Okay. Because the has a long story. Four damage. Oh, rough dude. Low roll, but it's fine. He's gonna inspire courage around us. Inspire courage. Check this out. Blam! It goes on everybody mm-hmm. automatically. Look at that. What does that do? Everyone gets a plus one to attack and a damage rolls uh, and saves against fear. Plus one, except everything. except yeah, I was like Not oh, only but offense things. Uh, everything and nothing. <laughs> Damn. Come and kill him in round two. So upon learning that the cleric is unholy, I'm actually going to move to be in front of him. Uh, just like here, yeah. yeah, like that. Okay. Uh, are you just striding there? Are you gonna step there? Or how are you doing it? Uh. Well, you can't. You actually can't step. Yeah, into I was the like, I would stride there. You're gonna try there. Okay, it does provoke an attack of opportunity from Vol, who seems to be quite the fighter. He does have the minus two. Does have the minus two? That is gonna be twenty-one. That misses. One's a miss. There you go. Friend. And then I am going to use the transcended to do the mirrored spirit. Oh hell yeah! So basically, you just do double slice. Yeah. Okay. So as you guys will see. My sword will actually shimmer like moonlight as I strike from both sides of the cleric. And, well, attempt to strike on both sides of the cleric. Okay. Now, Myrtle can't see. She's all in the... This, uh, the sword doesn't have agile. Right? No. So, so the way it works is that you get, the, one, you get the full bonus for the first one and minus two on yeah, the second okay. one. Just make it true. Uh, one attack is 27. Yeah, 27. Uh huh. And the other attack is going to be 23. Hit. Both hit. Very good. Both hit. So, just to save you the math, it's going to be 2d10 uh, plus 8. Well, actually, it's going to be 2d. Because you're level 5, right? Mm-hmm. It's going to be 2d10 plus 18 because the strength and then wouldn't it be 4d10 because each attack is treated separately yeah 40, yeah, 4d10 plus okay. 18 is going to be your total well it's both because both of it yeah and it's a two action cost so it's not like I can just spam it or something and where's your spark transcending to uh, it'll go to my belt now. belt okay yeah so when it infuses into my belt you guys fill yourselves uh, slightly lighter if you are in summer. Wow, thanks for carrying my groceries, Kamui. <laughs> <laughs> 19, so 37 points of damage. Very nice. And it is spirit. Yep, that's all spirit. Boom! As the cleric is bloodied and almost on her last leg. And with since this. he's unholy, he takes double damage, right? He did an unholy attack. I don't think he's unholy. Well, that, that's what I was wondering. No, I, I, like I said, that's why oh, I had okay. the, the 18. The, the 18 was included. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because the 5 from your level, the 4 from your strength, double that as 18 because both hit. So, 40 gen plus the 18 total. So, that was just to save you. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, stride, and then, was it, was that thing called? Shimmering strike or something? Yeah, uh, 
The mirrored, mirrored, Mir- spirit, strike. mirrored spirit strike. Okay. Stitches, you're up, buddy. Question. Am I still uh, hidden? No. Then I will tumble behind him, and then I will double slice. All right, let's see an acrobatics check as you try to tumble through. I'm assuming you're trying to tumble through, get that flat foot. Just diving into this hole. 16 plus 12. 34. Uh, uh, 16 plus 12 is 28. I'm sorry, 28. 28, sir. Oh, uh, that does do it, though. You tumble through. He is off guard to you. I mean, can you um, tumble through over here and pick it up? Flat foot, too. Yep, that's fine. Teamwork makes the dream work. And even with difficult terrain, you got enough movement to do that. Just enough, actually. I don't suppose a 15 will hit. 15 will not hit, unfortunately. Oh, well, technically 16 because of the plus one. That's correct. Uh, 16 will not hit. (laughs) Sorry, I had to go for it. No, no, you're you're good. 15, 28, 29. 29. Will. Critical success. Yeah. Those would be 2d4, 2d6. What's your strength bonus for? Uh, it should be uh, oh, it should be part of your attack, your, 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 your damage roll. My strength is plus three. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, whatever's on there for your, your, your damage dice, it should say on there. I'll roll the four, two. Oh, you, that was the second. Three, four, five, six, seven for the hit. Mm-hmm. And then 2d6. Uh, that's 15 damage. 15 doubled is 30. And then that'll also be the uh, Dagger of Venom. With the d8, right? No, that's it. That's d8 if, if it fails, and he didn't fail. He he, he overcame the, uh, uh, the the poison pen. Rolled a 27 against the 21 d Alright, so 30 points of damage total. Not bad. Boom. As Vol is taken to bloody. Very good. And it is now Vol's turn. No longer off guard. Uh, we'll go ahead and we will move 5, 10, or 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I am um, opportunity attacking. Oh, wait. I... I, I, I thought Kamu was on the bottom. Hold on. I'm, I'm calling. Hold on. I thought Kamu was here for some reason. Hold on. I was like, wait a minute. He's not moving me. Uh, I can't step in difficult terrain, so we'll try to move over there. Can I still get the opportunity to attack, or do you step? No, he can't step. He can't step. Okay, so yeah, my sword reacts. Okay. Natural 20. Let's nice, nice. Let's go. Do you want the card or no, sir? No? No, you <laughs> oh, sure? Wait, wait, wait. What's the card? Oh, sorry, sorry. Slashing or what? Slashing attack? Yeah. Okay. Uh, long slash. Uh, normal damage. Crit effect. Target takes uh, persistent 1d4 persistent bleed damage. Uh, and they have to roll a 20 to get rid of the bleed yeah, damage. Yeah, sure. Okay. So wait, does that mean I don't get the crit? Or what yeah, it means you don't get crit damage. You just get normal damage. So, oh. so you can pass on if you want. It's up to you. All right. I'm getting crit damage. I'm going to take the crit damage because he's almost dead. Okay. Take the crit damage. Chicken. And you were bitching about the difficult terrain. Yeah. Dude, not being able to step is so dangerous. Not having attack of opportunity is rough, too. It is very rough. It actually makes... I don't know, man, because I I liked having... I like most people not having it. It actually makes the battlefield far more mobile. That's true. Way more it mobile. Make it more mobile. I I hate not moving after round three just because everyone doesn't want it. Seventeen damage times two. Seventeen damage times two is thirty-four. Yeah, I don't think it's. I don't think he's alive. I think he's fine. Yeah. I think he's fine. No, he's dead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Vidor uh, is like singing and he's like, "Oh wait!" And then he like, <laughs> "Where do he, you like, think gra- you're gra- going?" He grabs him by the ankle and like trips him as he's like moving. He just whooshed. Nice, as Vol crashes to the ground. Dead. And he doesn't get a turn because he did. You're welcome. Oh, I could have made him bleed, and then he would have died in like three turns. All right. Asefana is going to go ahead. 
Give up, bitch. And Your friends are dead. And so are you. Uh, she doesn't seem to be responsive. Uh, like she's like she she's seems, just on autopilot. Okay, yeah, she yeah, yeah she seems like she's it's like under like a mind control. Like she seems like she's controlled. Okay, she I does not it. seem like she's. Over I get her it. Own. I get it. I don't want to be like like I don't always want to be one hundred percent here all the time either. So like just like, <laughs> as uh, she will go ahead and use two actions to cast uh, a spell. You guys have seen. You get? Do you have a tech about? I do or? not. What happened to you? You've changed. I've changed. Loser. This is example, I really not get a tech about the uh, Not until kinda... I think six. Not six level. Six level. Uh, so that's 15. Blame Liam for not letting us over level. What? That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, such a weird level. Doubled, uh, yeah, I do. Especially when like the exemplar has other options that actually are a little bit more useful. Uh, as you see, Asephina heal herself for quite a bit as she casts harm on herself. Uh, two actions. And the last action, she's going to go ahead and reach out and touch you, Kamui. I need a four to save, please. As she I tries to consent. harm you. I do not consent. Tries to harm you. I bet you're going to bed soon. 20? She is two spell plots on you. 20 is a fail. <laughs> uh, fortitude? Fortitude. 22 then. Fail. Okay, that is 17 Wait. points of void damage. Coming at you. Um, because it's coming from an unholy, it's increased to 22. Hooray for having the holy trait. As Kamui is bloodied. So on here it says it's actually double. What is double? The when it's an unholy when I receive unholy attacks and when I deal holy attacks, it's actually supposed to be double. According to which feat? The the sanctified. Your your sanctified feet? Mm-hmm. The, the, the class feet you took? Yeah, the for the exemplar. Uh, the sanctified soul. It says uh, all your exemplar abilities that deal spirit damage gain the sanctified trait. Yeah, allowing you to apply your holy or unholy trait to them. Mm -hmm. And since I take the holy trait, you explained it that it deals your level worth of extra spirit damage. Oh, okay. So I'm just not reading this right. Okay. Well, it, it they only talked about it once, and like I said, you're playing a class that's technically ahead of schedule. Okay. Um, they haven't. They've. Yeah, it, yeah. It's okay. No, that's yeah, fine. No, I just good. wanted to make sure. I, nope. You're good. You're good. You're good. All right, uh, that is her turn. That's it. Myrtle bitch, what you got for me? Uh, Myrtle's going to walk up to within 30 feet of Miss Mayonnaise, whatever her name is. Don't care. And she's <laughs> going to blast her. Yep. Easy. All right, blast one. Nope. Damn. And blast two. Okay, I'll add that. 26. 26 is a hit. Roll for damage. And she takes ooh, almost that 15 acid damage because she's tired. Oh, fuck this bitch, right? Oh, no, we need her head for the for the quest. <laughs> <Sorry>. Bam! <laughs> All right. Uh, Shelly, this is gonna. Oh, is that you have another action, right? Yep, that was it. Move attack attack. Move attack attack. Okay. Shelly the skelly. I step and attack. Step. Attack. Natural 20. Critical. Let's go. Do you want, the you want to hear the card is? Sure, let's hear the card. Flashing weapon strike, crit effect, deal normal damage to one of the target's weapons. Lame. No, fuck that. Fuck that. We're going to kill her instead. Lame. Although she is using a bow, but I mean, it is it. Uh, yeah. uh, 19 double. 19 double 38. Coming at you like Cleopatra. Oh, yeah. Uh, plus 39. One. 39. Plus one. Yep. Plus one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have to remember that. The... No, it's, it's, it's added at the end. Okay. So it's not doubled. 39 points of damage, nearly killing. Or taking out a Sephina there. Uh, so step, strike, you still have one more action. Yeah, I mean, it could happen. Could happen. Let's see it. Natural one. Let's Natural one go. says no. Go ahead and roll again to see if you miss. Because if you miss, get that crit fumble. He's Hero point he says, fuck it. you. So, uh, so can we veto the coin? <laughs> 
No, nope. to where he no. has nope. the roller. Nope, it's communal. I don't like, like, this. like a toilet. I want to see you lose like a, a limb. toilet. Jesus. Okay. Uh, Twenty-four. That's a hit. There you go. You might just take a seven out right now. Bit. At the end. Uh, Eighteen damage. Eighteen. Made into nineteen damage. As a Sephina is taken out. Ending the encounter. The the sword goes right behind Kalui's like shoulder. It goes like, hey, let me get her again. <laughs> I, Excuse me. That, <laughs> that was kind of anticlimactic. Yeah. I, wait, where'd you learn that word? What word? Mm. Huh? Yeah. That is a big word. Skelly's gonna puppies. go into the the snow and like pick him up, get him out of here. I raise my arms up. Myrtle's gonna use her little base kinesis and just start destroying snow. So just the shuffling it off to the. Yeah, to she the walks side. past Kamui. Poosh, you can get splashed with healing. Kamui, you take fifteen healing. I'll, I'll splash, pop it. He's not gonna make it. He gets eleven. <laughs> yeah, for, for for viewers, Joss has this uh, big gulp, like a literal, like a literal big gulp, and like he's drank it all, and we just saw him shuffle to the restroom like real fast. <laughs> yeah, I, I was tempted to try to trip him. Oh, yeah. that would have been so <laughs> cruel. He knocked. burst like a water balloon. <laughs> Does anybody want to guess if he's gonna make it or not? I'm just saying, not my house, not my feet. Right, right. <laughs> um. Sorry we killed your friends, Otari. I hope you're cool with that. As Otari will. Uh, as the one thing you notice is they actually, like, like you see them, like, almost um, disintegrate. Yeah. Uh, except three items are left on the ground. Dibs. Um, what is it? The skull is going to point to the sky to Karasma, like, you know. Like, eh, you're welcome, that's girl. For, that's for you. That's, <laughs> that's for, for you. you. That's for you. Do that little. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, ch- the double chest tap. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, let's see. Kamui, are you laying hands on yourself? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, I guess, Even though. both of them. Y'all mind waiting 20 minutes? I don't care. We're, we're not on the time limit today. It's 36. Because <laughs> you have two focus points, right? Yeah, I have two okay. focus points. 30, 36 should tap Actually, you back up. Actually, I think I have a good three. Yeah, that taps you back up. Yeah, you're, you're all the way back up. I think I have three now. Do you? From what, sir? From uh, what? I'm not sure. I'll have to look. You sh- unless you took that domain thing, which I know you didn't, you should only have uh, two. Uh, I'll check out the items. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. My bad. What? Okay. So on the ground, there is a the, that perfectly, it looks like it was crafted today, long sword at Volrojani's. Like I said, basically they, everything else disintegrates and you hear the cling, you know, there's a pristine long sword on the ground. Clearly magical. There is also a brooch on the ground that has a deer and a longbow attached to it. And I can show you a little picture of all this stuff. Oh, Josh, you got to heal. I healed you for 11. Where's my healing? As you see this brooch. Did you even take them? Uh, no. Whoop. Wait one second. I just like being That's... Included. Not a brooch. That's not a brooch. That's a nice loot. <laughs> I mean, it is loot, but it's not the loot we're looking for. Ooh, shoddy loot. Looks like a loot that's about to fall apart. Sorry about that, folks. How about Liam's that? Mannequin. There we go. So you see where the cleric fell, you see a brooch that looks like it's made of a beautiful silver. That cling, cling, cling uh, falls to the ground nice. as well. Very pretty. It's a deer with a long boat of it. Let's get a religion check, somebody. Whoever's trained in religion, you can enroll for this check. I think I'm trained in religion now. Twelve. Twelve? Okay. Yeah. Nineteen for me. Nineteen? Anybody else? Okay. Nineteen. Uh, Kamui, you identify this as a brooch uh, that would belong to a devout follower of Aristotle, otherwise known as the hunter, the one who values family and bounty. The Puppet. hunter's bounty. Papa, do you have... Uh, a, would you even follow a god? 
Um, what's a god? Don't worry about it. It does not work. What? what? <laughs> I disagree. Myrtle what? makes a uh, fedora out of water and tips it. It tips like a 10 gallon hat at six flags. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> As you see, uh, like I said, you see a pristine sword, uh, as well as a, a what is clearly a spell book. Oh, that would be sick if we had a wizard. <laughs> Too bad. Um, that'd be sick if we had someone that used the long sword. Yeah, I'm not gonna give up. That'd my, be my, sick can I uh, look through clip. the book? You, can you look through the book? Yeah, you may absolutely look through the book. Yeah, last time someone did that, we almost had to kill them. As ever, as everyone except Stitches like cautiously looks at Stitches, looking at the book, and like, <laughs> as 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 terrible memories flood. As he, as he picks up the book, I clearly just walk a few feet away. <laughs> okay. Um, up, can we? Do we need to identify, or is it just you will need? We will need to identify. Like I said, uh, these checks will just determine how long this takes. Does anyone have quick identification? I do. You do? Oh snap! So let's see how long it takes. Uh, what do you want to identify first? The book. The <laughs> book, <laughs> I guess. Okay, with the book, uh, this is actually the one thing you don't need to identify. As you open the book, it's not, it's, they're, they're, it's not technically magical. No, it does have high value because of the spells in it. Um, the book is just written in a very, very difficult oh, cipher. How many, if it's worth something, how many kobolds is it worth? <laughs> Son of a, how many kobolds is it worth is yeah. a great question. Um... You wouldn't know unless you could figure out what spells were in the book. They're okay. all written in ciphers, like a very, very in-depth cipher. Oh. But you do see sketchings inside of... Uh, are you kind of like rifling through the book and just trying to figure out... Like, eh. uh, like I'm watching Stitches. Do I'm, right. I'm so going through Myrtle's it. figuring it's spell Can book I, and it's like, uh, spells. Do I... Am I <sighs> able to read the, the, the whatever code it is? The cipher? Yeah. What's your society bonus? Oh, never mind. We're going to roll no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> it's not written in like these. What about the sketches? Like... The sketches. So one thing you start to realize is there's some, there's like, there's stuff that's clearly like spells and like very perfectly circular with angles and like theories and calculations. And then there's drawings in the back half of the that, book. That's what Stitches is looking at, really. And the drawings look like someone drawing faces that resembles something from the dark tapestry which you would only know how you would only know how to describe as cause like you wouldn't know what the dark tapestry is these two would know the, like so Shelly and uh, Thassa I'm oh, sorry oh my god sorry Gretchen <laughs> oh my god I'm losing not, my mind today dead name. Myrtle I am so sorry I'm just I'm just dead naming over here today um, no, the, uh, they, because they're trained occultism, it's something that's clearly occultist, like, a, like occulty. Uh, you're not really quite, it's I, esoteric in nature. I've got occultism. Okay. Uh, what's your occultism bonus? Seven. Seven. Okay. Uh, yep. Best you can tell is it's something from the dark tapestry. You're not really sure. The dark tapestry being like Cthulhu land is the, the, the nicest way I could put it. The, the easiest way to put it. Something that is like on the outer, the outer planes, the stuff you shouldn't be, uh, like the things that like the the place that breaks people's minds. Well, the cool stuff is. Yeah, where all the cool stuff is. Huh? What about the sword? <laughs> the sword. Um, you can make uh, any kind of identification check, and let me. You, you probably need a few. Words. Fourteen, eight. Critical, Critical fail. fail. So, uh, give me five rolls because it's gonna be really hard to make this check. It's 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 a pretty tough to identify weapon. Uh, thirty in nature. Fail. And what was what was the natural roll? Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay, you're not gonna be able to identify this. Uh, it's gonna take I you a crit. That was a fourth roll. Nope. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's, you realize that this uh, the craftsmanship is not anything like you've seen before. Uh, the closest thing you can get, the, the only information you can get out of it, uh, based on the shape of the blade, the hilt, and all that, this was most likely crafted in Nidal. You know where Nidal is? 
more wise. Okay. Nidal is northeast of Chiliax, where the, like the devil worshiping nation. Mm hmm. Uh, they worship Zonkuthan, which is essentially the masochist edgelord deity of Pathfinder. Basically good dudes right now. Let me <laughs> let me take a shot at identify. Good luck. No. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, say you guys can both come to the conclusion that this was forged in Nidal. Um and what about the brooch? The brooch, uh like I said, that's easy enough to identify. Oh, it's not magical? Uh it is it is magical. Oh. Uh, and you unlock its properties. So um, it has two things going for it. All right. This is the hunter's bro uh, brooch. Uh, this brooch retains the power of Aristotle. When worn, the creature gains a plus one status bonus to attacks made against creatures with the undead tree. It also has the ability once per hour to uh, grant the ability called family's bounty. So once per hour... The user can cast heal at second spell ring. And it's worn across the neck. Um, it is valued at 150 gold. What about two and a half kobolds? Um, uh, I'd say each kobold is 50 gold, so that's three kobolds. What if they're gold kobolds? That's different. The gold kobolds, those are 75 pops. So be worth is that two like a kobolds. mini game where you buy a lectrum kobold? <laughs> oh my god, go fuck yourself. You guys should take away a hero, communal hero point for that. Uh, oh uh, God! <laughs> well, I feel like Kamui, you, you, it, it feel like it fits you a little. Would bit I wear more. this though? That is, aren't, wait, yeah. Seeing it, like this isn't gonna. That might be sacrilege. No. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. No, you you would know that this wouldn't. As long as you're not outwardly presenting and you're wearing like under your shit and it's okay, like, so I don't have to have it out. Like, no, it just needs to be worn. Okay, that's it. You can tuck it behind it you. Kinda, I'm, I'm fine with taking that okay. as long okay. as. It's not going to cause kinda, any kind of issues. Yeah, it kind of hurts my skin to touch. Okay, and who's going to hold on to the book for now, or do you want to just put it in I'll the party? Hold on to the book. You hold on to the book. Okay. I go. Oh, that's fucking it just uh, kind of disgusting. <laughs> you turn square. And you said this is a, <laughs> this is a status bonus, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Liam, you said come it's come a again? status bonus? The status bonus to attack creatures with the undead trait. Looks oh, like wait. Stitches, uh, can I see the book? So again, basically, what it means is like if you guys have inspire courage on, won't won't work. Hey, uh, Otari town man, do you recognize any of this stuff? It's like a, that's Zamavarian's book. Was, <laughs> no, he kept his codes quite secretive. Adventurer, this Sorry. is some pretty nasty stuff. He liked to dabble. Oh, I do remember what he called it. Um. The mm -hmm. thresholds of truth. Ah, that's the only <laughs> thing he told anyone about the book is its name. Outside of that, I don't know. He liked trying to bring things to the battle. Like, you know, strange enough, you know, I was, I was thinking about it. Because that is his book. But I recall, I recall Z being a little taller. Anyway, damn, it has, kinda, been, kinda, it has been 500 years. I kind of hate all these stupid books that are so evil. Why don't y'all carry around like dictionaries or something? He never used the occult against us. He used it against the enemy. So we never really. No, I get that. Him. I get that. I knew some shady bitches before too. But like, I just kind of have a bad feeling about books. Like, yeah, he goes, there was a book uh, that we tried to stow away but. As I'm not really sure if we were able to, if I was, uh, if anyone was able to find it. Not gonna dig into that one. <laughs> no. Gloss <laughs> over. Dang, that sucks. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> crazy. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Whoa. Uh, -uh. He, goes, he, goes, I'm, he goes, I'm glad. He goes, uh, he goes, Rajani's blade. As he, uh, goes over to pick it up. He goes, he goes the cooperative blade. <laughs> he got kind of like, you know, you know, kind of mocks and scoffs at it. He goes, you don't realize how annoying and pompous he was about this fucking blade. But it is finely crafted. This is an adult show, after all. You know, I can say fuck it. Um, What's so <laughs> special about it? Does it sing? There's no, thank you. The gods, it doesn't sing. That's my sword in the background. He goes, well, come on, my baby. Come on, my honey. <laughs> <laughs> come on, my ragnar again. Uh, and I goes, but it was, he could make it sing in his prime. He goes, the, the 
husks of the heroes you once fought were nowhere near as strong as we were in our prime. Fucking Belcora, what a cunt. I was using, using my fallen comrades against you. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of her thing. Yeah. It's not surprised. Not too surprised. I'm not I'm not surprised, but that doesn't make her any less of a cunt. No, no, no. no. Uh, maybe she's the boss of book too. I mean, we'll beat her up soon. Perhaps. Who knows? Um, he goes, perhaps, he goes, none of you use a long sword? Uh, it's really. alright. Do it's I all right. look like I could use it? <laughs> it's you a little too long. I grab it and I hug the hilt. More, <laughs> more of a great sword for you, friend. But do you, do you, I, you're, you like your sword though, right? I like would it, never it means a lot to you. Boss, do you even, are you even trained in sword? Who? Or, yeah, that's not really our. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Not bitch. really our thing. <laughs> he goes. Then you said there's a town there. It's a town now, not a hamlet. No, no, it's a whole ass town, and you'll never guess what it's called. It is more like a city. It's it is very. It's big. big. It's sprawling. There's lots of people that live there. It's, it's called Otari. Buildings. <gasps> there's it's a called graveyard. Otari. It's called Otari. I thought we were gonna surprise you with that. As you seem like he grasp grasps his hand over his chest, he's Aww. he's touched and he uh he's gonna cry. If 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 uh, he uh, let me see if he actually can hold back tears. Natural nineteen, he holds back tears. Um, as uh, but you can tell he's he's, he's choking up a little bit. By Stitches that. goes and hugs his leg. He's like his whatever corporeal leg. Your, yeah, in corporeal legs. He's like, thank you for the the sentiment. Um. Uh, perhaps take the blade back to the town. I'm sure someone can make use of it. Hmm. Okay. As make society checks, everybody. Hey, something that nobody's good at. Me too. Yep. Everybody. Natural fucking two. Let's go, bitch. Somebody get a zero so we can combine it. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Six. Six. Come on. I'm a weak kid. And that, that skill that I took, the uncanny thing? Oh, uh... Um, that just adds proficiency to everything, right? Uh, you... Essentially, it's, instead of your level plus two, it's just your level to the check. Uh, on training improvisation? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so you just add your level to the check. So okay. treat it as, a, as if it was trained, but minus two. Okay. So that would be... Uh, 19. 19. Commonly remembers... And he actually would remember, and this is actually, uh, this makes story sense as well. The blacksmith's name was Carmen Rajani. So the descendant, this is clearly uh, a, an ancestor of Carmen Rajani. Vol Rajani is either probably the great, 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 great grandfather of Carmen Rajani. I know where we could take this sword and put it to the right people. What time is it? How long have we been adventuring? Is this? Is it? I know it's you can such, see the time. It's up there. such bullshit to like walk into book two and then turn around and go to bed. But it like, is midnight. Th- it's about to be midnight thirty. But how long have we been adventuring? You guys have been adventuring. Uh, you guys came in here later during the day. You guys came in like four later? p.m. So you guys are fine. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah no, that's true. Just you guys came in in the afternoon. Just don't want to be exhausted. So let's keep going. Nope. You guys won't oh, fatigue right. until two in the morning. We have. Do you, you want to talk Otari? Are you good? You know, he goes. No, he goes. I'm just. Um, I'm. You good, homie? Because I'm. It's a lot to take in. It sure is. You know, so I, I, I was expecting to walk to this barrier. And, and like I so said, yeah, sorry, let me get rid of the fucking blood splats on the map. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. Big, um, red, big red. Big red here. As uh, Big red standing by. As um, was, what I was expecting was to walk over to this barrier, tell you good luck, and lower it. I was not expecting to see my former comrades. It's, it's a lot to take in. Well, hopefully they're at peace. We're not. What? But they probably are. What can we do to help you? Do you? Will you pass on as you let this go? You can be with them. Oh wait, yeah. Do you? You, you don't want to pass, do you? You're kind of an affront to like, Erasma. No, my. Uh, the only reason the barrier stands is my sheer will and my 
that is literally my soul. Oh, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember you saying that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank it you. It's time to let it go. It is time. He goes, I don't want to end up being a husk like they were. Yeah, that would suck. I would hate to have suck. to <laughs> really destroy sucks. you like them. Right, right. Walking around undead ain't that fun. As his eyes open a little more, he goes, Well, I guess this is goodbye. Forever? Forever. Well, <laughs> I'm sure we'll see each other again. Uh, hey. hey. He kind of gives you the finger gun. Some of us sooner than others. Probably. Mm-hmm. As he holds his hand forward and you see the the barrier as it starts to vibrate violently and eventually dissipates. Puppet, do you have a soul? Will you, does Puppet pass on? Homie, watch, I, it, I'm asking watch, you. watch the guy disappear. Give, we'll, we'll talk about this over dinner or something. <laughs> this, dude, this dude just found out a, na- a town was named after him. His friends are died. I, I, I don't know. Poppet, do you have a soul? What's a soul, right? Can't you ask for Asma? I'm not going to ask her. She doesn't like um, that. How that did you do that? Curious. You sounded just like me. <laughs> it was a sword. He's got, he can venture the it, it has a, a mouth? It can talk? Yeah. You haven't heard it? It's no. not a soul. Hello, my baby. Hello, my Hello, baby. He's like Hello, bouncing baby. around like... Can I attempt uh-huh. to intimidate the sword it again? It can actually hover. Yeah, you like, can. Uh, yeah. Can, can I attempt to intimidate yeah, the sword again? Uh, yeah. You can in- attempt to intimidate the sword. I start dancing with the sword. Just. <laughs> 32. Yep. It oh, stops shit. singing. Yeah, he's like. Oh. <laughs> are, are, are you okay? <laughs> and, and I'm finally so <laughs> quiet. Uh, I'm like kind of hey, like, hey, that's like hey, my, that's like my old friend. <laughs> but I also <laughs> wanted to shout. I mean, up, you so. don't know because I can do it with my eyes. Uh, real eyes, real eyes. Yeah, I just real stared eyes. at. Oh, you know what? Shut up, I can do this. Ooh, fancy. She doesn't see it. Um, Closed her eyes. So I'm beat. All right. Uh, as the only thing that as a uh, as Kamui <laughs> lights a torch with a uh, katana in his hand. Because I think you're the only one that doesn't have dark vision. Okay. Uh, I don't have dark vision. Yeah. No. You're the only one that doesn't. Mm-hmm. As we don't have Gretchen to run around with the light. light. Yeah. You have a light spell? Yeah. Cast okay. it. You want to cast it on Kamui Kun? You don't have to. It's fine. Uh-huh. I'll use one of my four charms. <laughs> hey! Which Whoa. is really weird for a cantrip, but whatever. I mean, it, it solves so many stupid issues. You have a fucking fan on, brother. Are you kidding no, me? No, there's right still now? something. You got a damn fan on, bro. You must be trolling. Your house is 80 degrees. It's yeah, not, we put no, we put the AC a, on hey, for you guys. I will be over nice. an hour before we they get did, here. It was cold today. It, it was is nice. Cool it is nice today. And I mean, I'm not sweating. I was like, fuck yeah. out of here with that. We 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 do prep work before you guys. Leave. Terry puts on four coat, three pants. No, she puts on pants and, and the long sleeve. It's fine. I'm going to go home to 65 degree room, so I'm good. Oh, that sounds good. It's so good. Like a it's meat so locker. Good. I act like cart. Or you know what they say. If it's a meat locker, the meat doesn't decay. And since I'm fat, you know? Wow. Okay. Tell that to your balls. That explains it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to be Dude, real good low about blow, swearing. Low blow. <laughs> but that was straight to the balls. <laughs> low blow. <laughs> you can't tell me that you like <laughs> had to have medical on the attention. bright side it's been like a year and a half since someone touched my sack so I'm good for like another year <laughs> well, okay alright is this something to brag about I don't know but it's, it's as close as I got recently viewer Kamui still has his balls it's just complicated it's complicated it's complicated <laughs> All right, as you guys go to descend, I assume? Yeah, yeah. we descend. Yep. Holy shit, as we officially move into book number two. We did it, team, only two and a half years. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Get, get it out year. now. Get it out. It's go ahead. It's been a year, though. Huh? It's been a year. All right. If you just okay. power level us, we could just run through the whole thing and never have to worry. <laughs> As you all make it down the stairs, Kamui hears it first, a familiar sound. 
As you hear a strange echoing coming from a gibbering mouther. Yeah, but now we're like level 70, so. There's a little bit of anxiety. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, but you're like a different character now. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not scared because, you know, I had to let go of my past. Hmm. All right. As you damn right in the book too right in the book too gibbering out there look i mean y'all complaining about speed let's go (laughs) roll initiative fuckers (laughs) let's go he's gonna be like crit it's another crit it's another crit you're dead make a new character wow wow new character new me new book new me new book new book you heard it here first 24 to be fair at the start of the session he clearly said that he is gonna kill us that is not what I think. Clip it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay. What are you talking about? What I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> clip what? You know, I was like, clip, clip what? Clip it. Clip it. Oh, clip no. it. That's just what everyone says. Yeah, Homie's been more? watching too much Twitch. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, let's see. Stitches, what you got for me? 16. 16. And come with 22. 22. Respectable 22. All right. And you come weighs a 20 or a higher every time. Flip it. Flip it. All right. And the Gibbs. That's what they said when they saw your balls. <laughs> Damn, okay. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. Shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm the <laughs> asshole? Okay. I'm sorry. So is this heel spell heightened three? So where, it's, like, if I use it's three a second rank. It's a second rank Damn, spell. you're lucky. I swear to God, one. I'm going to pop... <laughs> I'm gonna pop this Sorry. heel and burn you. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna pretend I have no idea and I'm just gonna be so focused on healing you that I'm gonna do the heel spell. Myrtle, why you're isn't up. this working? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do a winter's clutch, a, t- a 10 foot out away from it, so it's. Has to go through. Has to go through it, but still hit it. Okay, but right before you do that, give me a will save as you hear the gibbering. Uh, All the voices enter your ear. Okay, 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 okay. How many times to save? You're good. Oh, as a free action for rolling initiative, the uh, spark will go back into my body. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, so I will drop that for you. I will drop it like it's hot. 10 foot? Burn? Yeah, it's 10 foot burn. Ten foot burst. Uh, yep. So right here ish. Yeah. Yeah. Because that would make that would force it to. Oh, actually, yeah. probably want it. Yeah, that's the best you could get right there. Okay. And it's a DC. It's a DC twenty-one. It's a twenty-six. So it takes uh, half damage. Eight damage. So four. Eight damage. Four damage. Woo. And what kind of damage? Cold. Cold. Okay. All right, that's your first two actions? Yeah, that's the first two. Okay. And can't reach it with a blast. What's the um, range on blast? 30 feet. I'm, I will treat it like range increment. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I'll try. Yeah, I was like, you might as well give it a shot. Not one, so. <laughs> nope. You're good. I'm not going to have you reroll. It's fine. Uh, 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 okay. It's now the Gibbering Malveston. All right, so anyone that's not Myrtle, give me a will save. DC is 19. 25 for me. You're good. 19. You're good. DC's 19. And Chile. Uh, over 19. Okay, you're good. Unless something happens. Nope, you're good. Nope, that's it. It's a, it's a simple save. Okay. Alrighty. Roll into that snow. It has to. It goes the other way. <laughs> it it's goes like, downstairs. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> Just going around. Uh, it will go ahead. 5, 10, 15, 20. Actually, no. 5, 10. That's one action. <laughs> 5, 10. That's two actions. And it will use its last action. Try and spittle at Kamui. Natural one. Let's see what happens. Uh, Takes a minus two penalty on attack rolls until the end of its next turn. Hmm. 
Very good. Uh, actually, no, it's not a named NPC. What am I doing? I just want His name oh, is oh, Gibbering oh. Mouth Her. Mouth Her. No. <laughs> uh, as that's it. That's all. That's all it's got. Uh, nice. Shelly the Skelly. What you got? For me? Uh, trying to remember what I remember about Gibbering Mouth Her. It's been, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Been a minute. Uh, I'll give you a bonus on it though. Oh, plus two. Uh, funny. When he succeeds. Does he have a weakness? Uh, a bludgeoning five. I can't make my sword touch thing, can I? So the way I do that is if you want to hit it with the pummel or something like that, you deal one damage dice lower. You flip. Because you're using the pummel. Bam. Uh, uh, whatever. So if, instead of D6s, it would be d force. Whatever. I, no, I think if I just hit it hard enough, it'll be fine. <laughs> so well, gonna, those are the options I present to you. Yeah. I'm going to move up. Okay. Uh, Make sure I'm like five feet away with them. That's oh, you want to be at the 10 foot read? Yeah. 10 foot? Okay. As you come around the corner, you see two familiar faces. Two rot guts present themselves to you. Yummy. Little rot, roth gluts. I like this art. Uh, it looks uh, it looks like, like a puppet, honestly. It's like a horrific clown devil version of Jabba the Hutt. Slug and octopus all in. Yeah, all it in is one. creepy looking. As it, uh, as you find them. Does the it, uh, does it surprise me or anything? Nope. No, okay. no, uh, no surprise attack. I, I just see it. I'm like, oh, well, I'm Me busy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, attack the uh, gibbering mouther as intended. Okay. You're lowering my DPS. <laughs> no, no, he's not. How, how, is, how is Aaron lowering DPS? Because he's in the middle of my blast. I'm just going to blast him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Step back afterwards, you uh, idiot. 32. 32. Very nice. Critical Critical hit. hit. Uh, 38 damage. 38 damage. Calculating. Calculating. Beep, 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 boop, boop. Beep, beep, boop. Do you still get that plus one after? No, it's not, it's just sword's not singing end. anymore. No, sword's not oh. singing. That's, that's, oh, yeah, that's, thanks, Conway. That affects for one round. <laughs> that's not my fault. You uh, scared it. Oh. <laughs> it chooses not to come out this turn. Uh, you, it has three actions. What would you like to do with it, sword? Um, my sword doesn't want to sing right now. He's still kind of like... Sad? Yeah. Nice job, Conway. All right. All right, uh, come with kid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go <laughs> over here. I'm gonna stay away from the gibbering mouth there just a little bit for a bit, for a second or two. Um, hmm. yeah, Groth. Lut. So I'm not gonna do any kind of transcendence or anything right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and. Attempt to demoralize this one. And real quick, before you do that, I need I need uh, Shelly and Conway to roll me a will save as these Grothlets who are hiding ooh, and start making this strange moaning. 25 for me. You're good. Uh, can we get these back after the next session? Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to re-roll. Okay. <laughs> That's a re-roll. Jeez, one point better. Um... 14. 14! As you feel a little sick, Shelly. Ew. Ew. Ow, my tummy hurt. And let me also get him out of uh, Stitches and Myrtle while I'm at it as you hear the... It's a strange moan. You get a will save from Stitches and Myrtle. 24. 24, you're good. You said will, right? Will save. Five, nine, thirteen. Thirteen's a fail. You want to use that hero point? Yeah. Failed by how much? Uh, three. Oh. Oh, four, sorry. Four. Failed by four. Not anywhere near. Oh. That's going to pass. Fourteen plus nine. Yep, you're good. Twenty-three. You are good. All right. Come we. Sorry to interrupt your turn. No, no, you're stride. Good. First action. What you got? So stride, I'm going to attempt to demoralize it. Demoralize. Let's see it. You're fat. <laughs> that <laughs> is 19. That's a that's a pass. It's right in one. All right, and then I'll attack it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> oh, that's uh, thirty-three. Critical, Critical hit. Uh, does that stack from the frightened then? Because the frightened. Does it turn it frightened? Oh, fear. Too? You mean fearsome? Yeah. No, no, no. no. Uh-uh. Oh, okay. If it was greater fearsome, yes, but no. Okay, I couldn't remember how that worked. Nope. I forget my sword has fear so much. Yeah. I, I, I That's like, there's only a few things to remember in Pathfinder, don't worry. My, my issue with that, with I guess any of these types of games is they give you, like, it's all these little increments that sometimes you're like, damn, I don't remember any of this shit. Well, and that's the thing, too. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. If you're running all this shit on Foundry, it does all that shit I know, for I know. You. But, oh, like, like, it's... But, you know, when you're trying to play it on paper, it's a lot to remember. I'm never going to remember critical it, specialization it's on so any hard. character in any Thir- world. Like. Oh, I have to do... Oh, it's 13 total and then the deadly D8. Because that doesn't get added till the end, right? Correct. Okay. So 26 plus the D8, yeah? Yeah, and then 8 max roll. Nice, dude. So 34 points of damage. Uh, it doesn't seem to have any resistance to it or anything. So blam as you bloody the creature with a single strike. That's my turn. Very nice. All right. As that creature, that Groth Lut, will go ahead and try and claw you, brother, um, for 20 to hit. Uh, that missed. Uh, question. No, no, never mind. That's only for when I'm transcended. 19 to hit. That misses. Okay. 19 to hit again. Wow. Yep. Nope. That's it. Uh, that frightened really got it. All right. The other Grothlet's going to go for Shelly. Leave me alone. My stomach hurts. That's going to be uh, 20 to hit, Shelly. I'm sickened, right? Sickened one. You should have an AC of 20. Yeah, 22. Sorry, two? I just had it covered. Yeah, DC, AC 22. So, nope, okay. Uh, we'll follow up strike. Miss. Follow up strike. These are very simple creatures. Ooh, 19 plus 22, exactly. Oh, yeah, that'll do Hey, it. one hit there. Okay. No. Hey. Uh, only my sword song once. Oh, no. All right, so 11 points of damage total coming out to Shelly. Nothing crazy here. All right, is that its turn? Stitches, what you got for me? Mm. As unfortunate at the bottom of the turn order, so nothing's <laughs> off guard to you. I'll go ahead. I can, I can see this one, right? Uh, you can. Yep, you can see it. I look at it. I give it the intimidating glare. Intimidating glare. Let's see an intimid- uh, intimidation roll. Demoralize attempt here. It is within 30 feet. You do have hero points. This is the last in combat, the last encounter of the session. If you want to use that hero point, you can. Uh, unless a 15 misses, I will use that hero. Uh, 15 will miss. Yes. So go ahead and re-roll it. How could that even be worse? Uh, it's because it's a dice. That's how they work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now go. So first action is a fail. It is immune for 10 minutes. All right, double strike. It does. It is halfway behind, so I'm going to give it an AC bonus of plus two since it's behind, mostly behind the wall. Would okay, so that would be would that be considered like hidden or something? No, it just has an AC bonus of two because it has cover. Twenty three. That's a hit. And twenty nine. Uh, the second one's a hit as well. It would have been a crit, but because it's behind cover, it's not crit. 15 damage 15 for the first one and then the uh e8 right or i need to make a fortitude save that's my bad a uh, natural 19 yeah it's gonna pass so no no poison on it plus eight damage oh man not, not your greatest moment 23 points of damage total not so bad though as it bloodies the creature very good all right myrtle bitch we're in round two what you do for me? Uh, I'm going to go uh, move two squares Hold north on, of Kemoy. I'm sorry. You said it rolled a 19? One more time? Uh, you said it rolled ni- a 19. No, a 19 plus its modifier. Like, it, I, it, oh, I hadn't even added its modifier. Never mind then. No, you're good. You're good. Okay. No. Uh, sorry, Myrtle, continue. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, two squares north of Kemoy. Two squares north of Kemoy? Okay. I'm on the stairs. Yep. That should be a clean shot to the jibbing mouth, right? 
Oh, he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you're trying to avoid Shelly, yes. Yeah. Uh, just double blast. Double blast is Perfect. 25, yeah. Nope, no Perfect. penalties. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. Not going to do it. One shy. One shy. One shy. I got this myself. Ayo. Let's go. That's a hit. All right. And this is nine bludgeoning damage. Hey, let's go. Nine bludgeoning increases to 14 points of damage against the Gibbering Mouthing. Boom. And another blast. Not going to bother. Bludgeoning coming in clutch, Jeez, daddy. Point. This is the last encounter. Yeah, sure. I'll okay. Not gonna bother. Not no. gonna bother. No. Time. Yeah, at least two. tried. Mm -hmm. Hey, at least tried. Yeah. All right. Uh, quick and easy turns. Quick and easy turns. Gibbering and Mouther are gonna go ahead and five, as it's gonna attempt to engulf Shelly and Kamui Kun. All right. Up first is it has enough movement to do both. Uh, so. Uh, up first, Shelly. Let's see. Let me give me a reflex save, Shelly. Let's see if you get swallowed up by this thing. 26. 26. No, comes over to Kamui Kun as he re might be reliving his nightmare. Wait, uh, does he move past me? He does move past you. Okay, I'm gonna attack of opportunity. Attack of opportunity. I don't know. Does Sorry, you mean reactive strike? Yeah. Does that does that interrupt movement or is that no 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 no, no. only for monk monk only. Let's stand still. I'm sorry. 28. 28. Nice, dude. As wait, it has wait, enough wait. movement. Uh, that's five, I'm sorry. It's uh, 26. 26 is fine. All right. It will end its movement to the south of Kamui then. And it will try to give you a good old uh, little kissy kiss with, with one of its jaws. It's one of the mouths going to try to bite you. As that's going to be 25 to hit that that does hit okay and so you're taking 1d4 persistent bleed so that's fun 1d4 1d4 uh, bleed 21 to hit the gibbering mouther 21 to hit the gibbering mouther is exactly a hit you got the damage yeah 16 16 cool all right 16 points of slashing? Yeah. Okay, as it uses its, its reaction against you, reactive gnaw. Um, is this piercing or? This is or piercing. Is slashing? This piercing. is piercing. It's a okay. bite. Yeah, it's a bite. So, and, and I need to get to the habit of calling this out, um, but piercing is what I was going to do, so I, I have the resistance of two. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we're still getting used to it. No big deal. Um, it will use its, like I said, it will use its reaction against you, Shelly. Reactive not makes a buy attack against you, Shelly. Full attack bonus. Uh, 20 to hit, misses. Mm -hmm. So, and then it's going to deal its damage to come when we get the second half. Of a lot it. of stuff happening in this well, six seconds. A, yeah, this is like reaction, reaction, reaction. <laughs> uh, 10 plus 5 is 15 points of piercing lowered to 13 because of resistance. Holy crap. Say that ten times fast. What a turn. Shelly, what you got for me? I'm gonna wretch. <laughs> You're gonna wretch? I'm gonna wretch. Tummy hurt girl. That's true. What do I what do I roll for? Fortitude. Sicken attacks your fortitude. Sixteen? Sixteen's a fail. I'm gonna use that coin. I don't care. Yeah, final don't coin. Y'all can rot. Don't die. Don't you mean Groth? <laughs> so you, you'll you never use consumables, but you'll 19. use all our heroes. 19 to save. Mm -hmm. You're good. You're no all longer right. sickened. I throw up. It throw <laughs> up. I throw up skeleton goo. Fuck y'all. Um, <laughs> and uh, I just marrow spews out. Yeah, just bone marrow. Why focus fire when I could hit this brat? No, no. I need, a fo I need to hit the gibbering mouth there. I have antithesis. Okay. Uh, this is true. Josh, move. Uh, wait, no, can I hit it from here? You can. It's 10 feet away. Yeah, yeah, let's fucking go. Let's go. The power of reach. Uh, 27. 27 is a hit. Uh, 21. 21 points of damage. Let's see it, boys. Curse flat. As it's on its last leg. It's giving uh, mouth. It's attack again. Last. Attack again. Let's see it. Nope. Nope. No, but my sword attacks it. No, that's your second action. 
I, uh, I um, Ratch. Oh, Ratch, attack, Ratch, attack. Ratch one action. You're right, you're right, you're right. Ratch, uh, and my sword now attacks it. All right. And this doesn't have a uh, multi attack because it's. Uh, nope, it's its, its own turn. Natural 20. Let's Natural roll. 20. Can I even. Let's do it. Right. Ah, uh, roll for damage. I guess, yeah, it, it could. I could roll really bad on 2d8. You get a plus I two roll. circumstance bonus to all attack rolls until the end of your next <laughs> oh turn. Oh my god, I rolled two ones. I knew you were going to do that. Holy <laughs> crap. That's so funny. <laughs> All right, so you're taking the card or no, t- no card? Oh, what was it? Uh, plus two circumstance bonus to all attacks until the end of your next turn. No, but that would only be for the my sword. sword. That's yeah. kind of weird. Okay. So, yeah, I'll just take four damage on this <laughs> crit. <laughs> that's really funny. Well, it'd be more, it'd be... He's still kind of discouraged. <laughs> yeah, that's it's, it's, it's true. That's true. It does make sense. Wow. So it's not my fault that it was like shit. It. It's, he's it's not it. my fault either. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> because he's, like, like, he's like extended like, a little bit. He's like, oh. He, he just kind of just does. <laughs> <laughs> he bumps the mic just a just little the bit. Just Bumps the mic a little bit. <laughs> it's fine. It, it, won't, it won't be that loud. Uh, come on, we can. Um, let's go ahead and have. Uh, Shelly, are you damaged at all? I'm like a little bit, but I'm fine. A little bit? Uh, well, no, I'm asking. So I am going to go ahead and spark the transcendence on myself. Let's go. Uh, we'll choose piercing. Uh, piercing. Just to state it. Yeah. Uh, I will also activate the radiance to heal Shelly for radiance. Yeah. We discussed that. Yeah. Radiance so is fine. I have radiant. It's a mental heal. It's a oh. mental healing. It's a mental, it's, mental it's, emotional it's, it's healing. It's essentially like soothe. Yeah. I'm not hit as on my, like on my thing. It says I'm fine. You took damage from. I mean, it's it's a free action. It doesn't. It's just something that procs. No, I'm just trying to figure out why I'm like hurt on boundary. And the Grothlet hits you with its last attack. Okay. Okay. Yep. Then yeah. I'll oh yeah, it hit. It, it was it twenty-two hit, to it, hit. It, yeah, it dealt yeah. eleven damage. That was it. Tough, but. Um, so it'll heal two plus my level, which is five, so seven. Seven. Or is it double? I think it's double your level. Oh, it is double my level, so it's actually twelve. It heals for twelve. Hey. Hey, so Shelly is capped out. Yeah, it's actually what gave you sick in two. So that was the will save. No, that was a will save. Right, 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 right. So, and then, so transcend. Yes, transcend. It's going to go to my sword afterwards. Okay. Um, Spear damage coming out. Yes, correct. So that was the transcend. I'll go ahead and attack the gibbering mouther. Attack the gibbering mouther. Let's see. Uh, 29. 29's a hit? Yeah, 29. Mm-hmm. Uh, 14 plus 6, 20 damage. 20 damage. Uh, well, 22 damage. damage because of the uh, icon being in my sword. It was enough either way. Describe how Kamui slays a gibbering mouth or one of his most hated creatures on Galarian, even though it's not even from Galarian. So when I'm... After being a, attacked by it and kind of relapsing just a little bit from the fact that it tried swallowing me again, <laughs> I just furiously swing back and forth in front of it, like just trying to tear off whatever parts of flesh to make sure it doesn't come back. That thing goes down. All right. Is that Kamui's final action? Uh, No, that was my second action. I'm okay. going to turn and attack the monster to my side. The Grothlet on the left side. He meant failure. <laughs> <laughs> I would if I could. I would. You're out of reach. Right in the balls. Damn. Wow. For scale of that twenty. Let's go. Hit. Let's see. And just in case I pull a Shelly, we're gonna carve roll. your initials. Normal damage. The target is so humiliated that it cannot do. It can do nothing but attack you. At the end of each of its turns, it can attempt a will save to end this effect. Pretty much like a compelled duel. Nah, I'm good. Nah. No, it's it's too low. Too low of HP. Let's see it. 12 and plus 6 is 18 mm-hmm. and the spirit damage is per dice so that's 4 so that's 22 doubled right yeah and then doubled is 44, 44 and then four. the deadly d8 oh my yeah <laughs> deadly d8 for katana oh ee. that's a 2 so 46 damage 46 damage <laughs> just 46 damage splat crackle pop that thing goes down one grothlet remaining it is Speaking of, it is its turn. Uh, oh, I need to save uh, bleed as you take two points of damage from persistent bleed, can we? Okay. Uh, let's see if you make save. Just raw d20. 
15 year old. 12. 12, you're still bleeding. Okay, Growlithe is going to go ahead. It doesn't have anything else it can do. It's going to go ahead and just attack Shelly. Uh, let's see here. That's going to be uh, 24 to hit Shelly. Yeah, that's going to hit. All right. And I'll just roll all three of these in here. Uh, that's a 24 to hit again. And a six. <laughs> so that's not going to hit. Uh, 2d10 plus 16 coming out. That's 14 plus 16. 30 points of damage Let's total. Go. Wow. It rolled near max, so don't feel too bad there. As Chunk Shelly gets bloodied by the Grofflet. Fine. Stitches, you're up. I got, what, 25 movement, right? Yeah, 25 movement. Yep. There's 20. If I go there, I cannot tumble behind. You can, you'd have to spend two actions to tumble through. No, you don't have enough movement to tumble through. Okay, then I will just come up to about right here. Okay. Instead. All right. And I will attack. All right. It only has a plus one to its AC because it's barely covered. And, and you have an ally in front of it, so it has plus one to its AC. AC 20, because you guys already know this. AC 20. Ooh, 19 plus 13, so... Uh, 32, it's a critical, critical hit. hit. Very nice. Second one. Oh, 18 plus 13. 18 plus 13 is 31. That's another critical, critical hit. hit. Unless you roll dog, I don't think it's a lot. Well, you said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is true. Fair. So 44, 46 plus 6 doubled. That's 18 damage for the first crit. So Double, that's enough to kill it. 42. You know, the Sh first hit is enough to kill. Hold on. I got it. I got to do that. Overkill. Overkill. As this creature goes down, Stitches throws the first one, seeing it's about to collapse, throws the second one just to be safe as both of them explode. I did a come away. <laughs> As they both explode at the end here, my, uh, I need... My sword perks up. I <laughs> got him. Uh, I need four two <laughs> saves from everybody. Yeah, 30-foot emanation from both of them. So I'm only going to make it one. Nat save. 20 for me. Nat 20. Let's go. 28. You're fine. 31. 21? 31. 31, you're fine. 21. 21, you're fine. As you all are used... You guys know this was coming. You almost forgot about it, but reflexively. <laughs> you cover your mouths as the explosion comes out as you do not get coated in acid. And that is going to conclude the first episode of book number two. Say bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, bye everybody. Adventures uses trademarks and or copyrights owned by Paizo Incorporated, used under Paizo's community use policy. We are expressly prohibited from charging you to use or access this content. Cardinal Adventures is not published, endorsed, or specifically approved by Paizo. For more information about Paizo Incorporated and Paizo products, visit paizo.com. That's P-A-I-Z-O dot com. The player's characters within this show are property of Cardinal Adventures. Music provided by Shahid Mostafafar, Jacob Petrus, William Van de Kromert, Ziv Moran, and Sirenscape.